Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, hi, my name is Natasha and it's fantastic to have you here. For today's video, we are finally counting down my top 10 favorite tarot decks that were produced in 2023. Uh, now, caveat, these are only decks that I have reviewed on my channel, so if I have not reviewed your favorite that came out in 2023, doesn't mean that I didn't like it, just means that I didn't get around to getting it on my channel. So I picked out of the pool that I had previously to make it fair. And if your favorite isn't included in this video, let me know down below what it is. And if I haven't gotten to it, maybe I will put it on the list to get to this year. So with all that being said, do keep in mind my voice is still recovering. So if it sounds weird, funky, strained, it's because it is. Thank you for those of you who have been extremely patient with all of this. Uh, this has been about a month now that uh, I have lost my voice. So with that being said, let's get into it. This video is kindly sponsored by Madam Glam New York, everything you love at your fingertips. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I love this nail polish company because it does everything it says it does and it works beautifully. And we have the color of the year here, which is peach. So we have three different shades, although on the screen, this probably doesn't look too different from each other, but we have three different peaches here. This is a company that is vegan, cruelty free, palm oil free, is free free from 21 of the most harmful chemicals found in nail polish and it does what it says it's supposed to do. So this is the uh, Daystar which is a little bit more yellowy orange of a peach and then we have Gentle Coral and then we have the Taurus Season, which is a little bit darker of a peach. And on my nails as well, this is all Madam Glam product too. So I love it. I wear it. It's on me almost all the time. If it's not on my fingers, it's on my toes. So we have this one here. So it shows up a little bit lighter. And then we have the two darker ones here. This one is a little bit more orange. This one is a little bit more pink. And then of course I got to show you my nail art that I did with these. Please don't judge too harshly because I have been severely sick <laughs> and um, this is all my imagination could come up with. My favorite here are the peaches. Like how stinking cute is this? Of course I use some other colors but you can see the two peaches, uh, peach colors there. And then we've got some fun ombre with some polka dot confetti top coat. This one is peach with a holographic cat eye on top. And then we've got a two-tone French tip here. And then my last one here is a favorite cat's eye rainbow here with the two peaches there. But yay! I absolutely love this nail polish. Like I said, I don't have any issues with it. It's always been a very easy product to use because it does what it's described to do. I love the bottles. You see the color on top as well as on the label and it's ergonomically friendly. Let me tell you, I sit here and I do these nails. It takes me three hours. So I need something that is not going to compromise my hands too much. And this does so well. So Madam Glam is going to give us 35% off your order if you choose the pay as you go option. And if you want to get an even bigger discount and you use nail polish a lot, I highly suggest checking out their VIP membership. But the code will be on screen as well as all of the information down in the description box below. Thank you so much, Madam Glam. I appreciate you so much. And now back to the video. Starting with number 10, we have The Midnight Magic, a tarot deck of mushrooms by Sarah Richard. This is published by Simon & Schuster, retailing for $24.99 in the U.S. and $33.99 in Canada. Illuminate your path with the beautiful fungi of the forest and beyond. Discover Midnight Magic, where you'll find 78 unique tarot cards rooted in the mysterious world of mushrooms. Based on the Rider Waite deck, these cards depict the traditional tarot through fungi. From the authoritative red-capped fly agaric as the emperor to the brightly colored chicken of the woods as the impetuous fool and so many more created by renowned artist sarah richard this deck is filled with magical artwork reflecting the hidden and 
enchanting power of mushrooms. This deck is beautiful. I found it to be incredibly unique. I loved the concept and the price point was great. So before I show you the cards, I just want to show you the guidebook real fast. Again, if you want to see any of these decks in full, you can do so. Um, just search on my channel, the deck, it'll come up for you and you can see everything in full. So you can um, read about said mushroom and then we have the upright with keywords and a little blurb as well as reversed with the same. So keywords and a little blurb. So it tells you a little bit about the mushroom and why it was chosen for the particular uh, energy of the card, which is fantastic. And the same goes for the miners. So each card is a unique, different mushroom, and some have little scenes on it, and some don't, and it's just the mushrooms, but it's incredibly magical. And I just fell in love with the concept. Like this one's just really cute with the figure there, figures below. Very, very magical. But yeah, I thought it was really cool that each of these, there's like not a repeat on here. So you're learning about the mushrooms as well as the energy of the tarot card. So if you're somebody who is, you know, into foraging, into mushrooms as, you know, a um, hobby or, you know, for medicine or, you know, fill in the blank. If you love mushrooms, this is a deck for you. Beautifully done artwork and you can connect with it really well. It is a little bit harder for beginners and one of the reasons why it's lower on my list is just simply because the other ones uh, I was called to use more throughout the year. So th that's not a slight on the deck at all, but it does shuffle just fine. And it shuffles great this way too. And I love the size of it. So very cool. I would love to know, as well as all the other decks that are counting down, if this is something that you own or if you've heard of it before, let me know all of your thoughts below in the comments. So this is number 10. Number nine is Buffy the Vampire Slayer. This is published by Insight Editions and it retails for $27.99 in the U.S. and $36.99 in Canada. Follow the wisdom of Buffy, Willow, Xander, Spike, and the others with this beautifully illustrated tarot deck inspired by the be beloved series Buffy the Vampire Slayer, featuring beautiful original illustrations of Buffy Summers, Giles, Angel, and the rest of the Scoobies as classic tarot characters. If you love Buffy, this actually was done justice. Like I was super pleased with how they did this deck. So this is by uh, Casey Gilly and illustrated by Carl's, Carl James Mountford. Um, very, very well done. So dynamic and fun and the color scheme is so great. So first of all, the guidebook is fun. It gives you enough information to get by. It has a full color uh, illustration of the deck as well as the information a little bit about the character and then the message of upright and reversed as well. So it does also give you the character name uh, with the card image as well. So if you didn't remember who the character was, you got the info, which is fantastic because it's been a while since I've seen the full series. So some of the characters I I'm like, oh, I remember you, but I don't remember what your story was. So it's great. Um, the cardstock is all right. You know, it's inside edition cardstock, but it is shuffle, shuffable, shuffable. There we go. It is shuffable. So it shuffles just fine each way. And I'll show you the art. I know a lot of you fell in love with this deck but the reason why it is on here is because I'm a Buffy, Buffy fan but the art is great and they did the miners justice like it's not just slapped together it's not a pip deck see this is the nine of wands it actually depicts a scene from the show and uh, aligns it with the energy of the card so I was super happy with it and um is a very easy deck to read too if you're a beginner and know Buffy and familiar with Buffy. It makes a lot of sense. But also if you are a beginner, the guidebook will help you along too. So it's not um, a hard to follow guidebook either. 
So wonderfully done. I really enjoy this deck. And all your favorite characters are in here, from what I remember. <laughs> But yeah, it's fun, it's dynamic, it's different feeling than the other Inside Edition decks. So I really enjoy it. I think it's great. It's number nine on the list because others like before beat this deck out with usage. And, um, you know, I just, I was surprised that I was able to throw in a Inside Edition deck. Uh, no tea, no shade. We all know that there's been a lot of decks that have been a miss with the miners. But with that being said, let's move forward with number eight. Number eight is The Mind's Eye Tarot by Olivia Rose. This is published by US Game Systems, and I believe it retailed for $29.99. Don't quote me on it. Um, it doesn't give the price on the packaging, so I do uh, forget the retail price if it's not written down. But The Mind's Eye Tarot invites you to embark on an adventure of the spirit, allowing your imagination to be your trusted guide. Through her lush mixed media artwork using tea and gold ink, Olivia Rose conveys the intuitive creative process that inspired The Mind's Eye Tarot and infused it with a positive energy. The 78 borderless cards encourage us to dive deep into our own emotions and connect with the stories and symbolism of tarot and discover their meanings and messages. Includes 78 guilt edge cards and a 172 page illustrated guidebook. So this one is just stunning. It's really different. Um, the art is, oh, I just broke the ribbon. Well, that was my bad. As I was saying, it is a very unique feeling deck. The artwork is stunning. And again, I'm going to say the word unique. We have the guild edges. Here's the card stock and it feels like a linen. It doesn't explicitly say it is a linen, so I don't want to call it that, but it does feel like a linen uh, deck. And it shuffles beautifully. It reads really well. It, it I would call it beginner friendly because of the guidebook, but the images can be pretty trippy and can be hard to read if you're a beginner starting out. So like, I don't think I would recommend this as a first deck, but that's just my opinion. Um, uh, it, again, you can learn on any deck you wanna learn on it that if you're drawn to it and you love the artwork, but it's just so beautiful and unique and different and stunning. And it just feels ethereal, but again, it's lower on the list because it was something that I, didn't feel drawn to pick up as much as the like top five of my list, but I had to include it because I enjoy reading with it and it shuffles so nice. So that shuffles that way. I just love the way it feels. It's a great size. The quality is stunning and beautiful and it feels really good in the hand. And look at this thick book here. So for instance, you have the full color printout on the left, and then it gives you a blurb about the meaning here, as well as an upright and reversed keyword meaning here. So it gives you enough information if you uh, want it. If not, you can use your intuition and pick out what you do need out of the card. But it's just so, so pretty. I think there's spreads in the back. Yes. There's one spread here, the Mind's Eye Tarot three card spread. And then we have some notes in the back. That's the thing about um, US game systems is they always have notes sections in the back of their guys book that I really appreciate being there. You never know when you want to jot something down. <laughs> but yeah, it's different and it's very artistic. Like if you are somebody that's drawn to a unique style and something that not everybody has, this is one of those decks. It's just very psychedelic, but in a way very gentle too. Like. It doesn't mince words when you read with it, but it also doesn't yell at you either. There are some decks that I have that like, if I need tough love, that's the deck that I go to. This is not one of them. It, it tells you what you need to hear, but it's also very soft about it too. And you'll notice a lot of the eyes in every single card. So if you're not an eye person, I don't recommend it, <laughs> but I think it's beautiful and we'll move on. All right, number seven, we have the Guiding Light Tarot. This is published by Debray. Again, I, I'm not uh, sure about the price tag. 
The Guiding Light Tarot Prism Edition is a set of 78 cards that invites you to look deep into yourself, exploring your mind and soul. Inspired by the way light casts shadows on figures and objects and, and accented with color, these cards reveal the potent imagination of artist Victoria Iva. She has created an intense deck that interprets the themes of inner purity, emotional struggle, spiritual strength, and soulful growth through her otherworldly representation for each card. With this deck, you will be able to do powerful personal and professional readings. And thanks to the durability of the cardstock and very high quality print techniques, these cards will re uh, retain their vibrant appearance through many, many readings over years and years of use. So uh, this is a gorgeous deck. Uh, the packaging is beautiful. It's a magnetic enclosure. This one I really enjoy using for shadow work. That's an artist card, by the way. Um, I enjoy for shadow work because it's dark-ish. As you can see by this card here, this is the Page of Cups. It kind of has some dark overtones, but it's, again, it's very soft in the way that it gives you information. So the guidebook is simple, but it packs a punch. So here's the emperor. We have the meaning here and then we have the artist vision, which is fantastic. I always love when they include like the artist point of view on why they created the character or the scene, etc. It gives an extra layer to the meanings and then we have upright and reverse keywords as well. Cardstock, fantastic cardstock. It is a high gloss and it has the holographic edges. Look at that. Oh, love, love, love. But as you can see, there's just like a little bit of dark. And this is a pip deck, but the pips are done in a way that makes sense. So again, if you are somebody who doesn't really like pips, it might not be for you, but I'm just throwing it out there. I enjoy it. I can read pretty well with it, um, even though I personally don't like pips. I like that these create a scene or has movement and meaning in the um, icons so there's the emperor do you see what i mean that there's like a little bit of shadowiness to it and if you look at it in the way that you need to look at it you'll read from the intuition like this can be very foreboding or it can be like oh yeah just you know uh, let's take a look at that feeling that you're getting from this card etc so it's very cool. It's different. It feels like a dream world. It feels more like an ethereal kind of imaginative deck. And if you guys like the black tarot that uh, Debray makes, you'll probably enjoy this too. Very similar vibes without being overly dark. Yeah, this is the devil. So very cool. Um, and again, I don't really use this on a daily. This is when I need like a little bit more introspection of like maybe things that I'm working through instead of working on, if that makes sense. And I like how it shuffles and this way shuffles really well too. So again, if you're looking for something that's like has a little bit more oomph behind it and it's not your love and light quote unquote kind of deck, I would go with this one. It's definitely worth the price. Oh, I think it retails for $49.99 because I remember it being a little bit more expensive due to the print. So it is definitely worth the price tag for the durability of the cards and the the quality of everything that you're getting. Uh, if you like a little bit more uh, um, straightforward deck like this. Okay, number six and rounding out the first half of the 10, we've got the Grimalkin's Curious Cat Tarot, an 80 card deck and guidebook by MJ Cullinane. This is one of my favorite animal decks. It's so precious. If you are a cat lover, truly, this is a deck for you. This is $29.99 in the US and $39.99 in Canada. With one paw in the world of catnip toys and belly rubs and another in the world of stocking prey and disappearing into the landscape, cats exist in a liminal space between domestic and wild, captive and free. They are mysterious shapeshifters, loyal familiars, and self-appointed rulers over the humans they deign to grace with their company. And many of us will happily submit to 
the rule for a few cuddles. From scrounging alley cats to well-fed fat cats and hairless cats to giant puffballs, Gremlkin's Curious Cat Tarot is a positively perfect deck for any cat lover. Each of the Rider Waite Smith style cards in this deck depicts cats along their own furry fool's journey, the good, the bad, and the graceful and the goofy and that's exactly what this deck is this precious i truly do enjoy using it it's so beautiful slip beyond the veil on silent cat paws so like i said if you are a cat lover this is the deck for you it is an oracle sized card so it's a little bit bigger so, and this is one of the uh, oh here they both are the extra two cards we have unity and Grimalkin of the deck. So they are a little bit bigger. So if you have smaller hands, I suggest maybe trying to shuffle it a different way than normal uh, because there are so many cards, but it's so, so pretty. We have moon phases in the back and then you can find just about any type of cat on here. It's so sweet, so cute. I mean, look at this guy just ready to go on his journey. You even have a little dog there. Just precious. Oh, I love it. So, so sweetly done. The art is beautiful. And also, you as a beginner, I, I always look at these decks through the eyes of, be of a beginner too. Um, easy to read, easy to kind of figure out what's going on. Um, and the guidebook is great too. So I just kind of want to show you a little bit more. Look at that guy, oh my God. So sweet. And I'll show you how it shuffles before I show you the guidebook. I know I kind of go all over the place in these videos. I get overexcited. And these nails don't help with bigger decks, so I do apologize. Yeah, see. <laughs> a little bit harder of a shuffle. And sometimes it's harder to shuffle this way, too. But you can also split it in half. And typically with my hand strength, I have to split big decks in half like this to shuffle anyway. So you can see it's not that hard. You shuffle a little bit and then I overhand shuffle with this deck. So just take it and then you go to town. There we go. So yeah, my hand strength is not the best at the moment, which is why I kind of have to flip things around when I shuffle but the guidebook is great. We have um, a full explanation of the energy and then we have attributes too. So we have positive and negative, which you can interpret upright and reversed. It's just really sweet. I love it. I think that if you are a cat person, this is definitely one for you. Um, and I love the extra cards too. And if you want to check them out, what they mean, you can go to uh, the full unboxing video of this. It'll tell you that there. So let's get to the top five. Okay, number five is the Sephiro, the Spheres of Heaven Tarot. This is an 80 card deck and guidebook published by Hay House by Elliot Baum, George Hobmeyer, Viv Tanner, and James Patton. This retails for $24.99 in the US and $33.99 in Canada. Don't resist the call of the void. Drawing from the history of tarot from Marseille and Rider Waite Smith to Kabbalah and esoteric lore, this deck explores the deep roots of tarot's archetypes, symbolism, and evolution, featuring diverse representation and three unique lovers' cards for readers to choose from. Journey to the distant shores of the mag uh, mystical isle of Dioscoria and experience the bold gilded lines that breathe glittering life into the major arcana and the court cards of this deck, while the minor arcana's elegant pip style is rich with numerical mysticism. So it is a pip minor, but it's done really well. This deck is just unique and gorgeous, and I love the representation here. There's the back of the deck. The size is great, the cardstock is great. It's the Hay House card stock that we all know. It's a map, but the guidebook is great too. There's like this whole world in here. So if you are somebody who likes um, world building games and RPGs and that sort of a thing, this might be a deck for you too, because it kind of has that 
you know, vibe about it. Uh, there's like a whole backstory to how this was created. And again, you can go uh, check out the unboxing video. I won't take up much time with it here, but I do want to show you uh, a little bit about the guidebook here. So we have the Wheel of Fortune, the cycles of the world, and it goes into depth with the meaning. And then we have the same with the minor um, and a little... Um, description about what it means so six of wands accomplishments so it doesn't go terribly in depth in the minors but it does a good job if you need to know the meaning of the energy behind the card or if you're a beginner it will help you out a lot so as you can see it's a pip but it does a beautiful job so here's the ten of cups here so it makes sense it's just such a beautiful art style too it's different it kind of has this nod to art nouveau three of swords so it does make sense again if you are having a hard time with pip decks it might be a little challenging for you but it's definitely a deck that you can learn on I want to try to get a little bit more of the, there we go, the major, the emperor. Love this hermit, it's so different. And I love the inclusivity here. I love that there's different lovers cards. I'm trying to find it. I didn't get it set up. Okay, so I found them. So we got this version. This version. And this version. So very inclusive when it comes to the lover's card. It is fantastic. And you can take out the ones that you don't need and put them back in if you're using it for a specific client or a friend or family member. I think that's fantastic. And, you know, it just creates a more welcoming environment too with a deck like this. And it shuffles this way. And it shuffles just fine this way too. So yeah, I would love to know if this is a deck you own um, and how you love it or if you use it for a specific way or reason. I feel like it's similar to the um, Citadel Oracle where it kind of has that backstory of world building. So the two of them used together is really great too. All right, number four, we have the Mythos Tarot. This is Guidance from the Greek Gods by Helena Elias. This is published by Rockpool, retailing for $29.95 in the U.S. and $23.99 in the U.K. All right, discover the divine wisdom of the Greek gods and goddesses. This beautiful tarot deck interprets the guidance of the Greek pantheon for a modern audience. The force of a Greek de deity has been matched to the energy of each card to guide you to a deeper understanding of the card's divine messages and meanings. Draw on the depth of each card to map out meaning using timeless tools. So this, first of all, packaging, stunning. But this whole deck is just gorgeous. We have a ribbon. Gilded edges here. There's the bottom of the deck. The guidebook, full color in here. And it gives you information on the god, the deity. Um, and then you also have the different um, pronunciations as well for different ones in here. The risen and fallen is upright and reversed. So it gives you information about the goddess or the god and then how it relates to the meaning of the card, which is fantastic. The deities that they chose for specific energies are fantastic. I have an affinity for the Greek uh, gods. So like I grew up obsessed with the myths. So this deck touches a really <laughs> deep place in my heart. So that's why I chose it to be very top on the list. But also it's just really well done. It's very easy to read with. Um, but if you're a beginner, like I said, with a lot of these, 
it might be a little bit harder to start with just because there's not much of a scene. So I know a lot of you like to read with scenes in these cards, um, but it's more so the deity itself. But you do get the title of the card as well as the name of the deity below. So some like this definitely have a scene going on, but there's others that like this. You know, obviously with the stars, you understand what's going on. But so beautiful. I just love, love, love each and every card here. There's something magical and beautiful about it. If you are somebody who does deity work and you work with the Greek Pantheon, this is a deck for you for altar work. Or if you just, you know, use it to do any kind of spell work, or if this is something that you feel drawn to because of your working with the deities, it's fantastic. So I recently acquired this, but yeah, I had to throw it on the list because I've been obsessed with using it. And it shuffles wonderfully, especially with that gilding on it. And it just slips so nice in the hands. I love the size and it's a high gloss. And there's that back. But yes, yes, it's beautiful. And one of my favorites is the Hestia because it's uh, the Four of Wands. And I thought, oh my gosh, Hestia, that's perfect. So it's just really well done. Beautiful. I love it. I, I became quickly obsessed with it. So I would love to know if this is on your top list from last year because, man. <laughs> Number three. This was so hard. The the top three. It was very, very hard to put them in an order. I consider them all number ones in my opinion, but I had to rank them. So that's what I did. So number three is the Ethereal Visions Tarot, but the Luna edition. Oh my gosh, this is just so, so, so stunning. If you love the Ethereal Visions original, you're going to love this one. This is published by US Game Systems. I believe this retails for $22 or $23.99 by Matt Hughes. This uh, just stunning. In creating Ethereal Visions Tarot, Matt Hughes has drawn inspiration from the Art Nouveau movement, adopting his distinctive style and meticulous approach to craftsmanship. The artists created two additional cards to supplement the traditional major arcana. Every detailed image in the 80-card deck is hand-drawn and colored. This Luna edition includes revised artwork reflecting greater diversity, and each card is illuminated with iridescent silver foil stamping. It includes a 140-page expanded full-color guidebook. So look at just, oh, that hollow. Um, I did a comparison video between this and his original, and a lot is the same, but there are some cards in here that is just uh, very well done. A lot, in my opinion, better than the original. But again, there's nothing wrong with the first one. This one just has more diversity in here as well as Instead of the gold foiling in the background, it's this iridescent, which has another like personality take on its own. So the guidebook is really great as well. You have full color in here. The two extra cards are the artist and the well. And we have the uh, astrological correlation as well as a depiction and upright and reversed keywords so same with the rest of the cards as well it's just so so well done here's the back and i like the size of the card fantastic card stock it shuffles well but just look at that iridescent oh so again a lot of, is the same but it's just a different feel with the foiling Show you some of the changes. It's just gorgeous and stunning. So I use this a lot and I prefer this one because I like seeing all of the different characters in here and there's something about this one that I'm just more connected to over the original. However, 
I don't mind the original. I think the original is fantastic too. I think it's, they're both, they both have their place, you know? Okay, so I'll show you how it shuffles. And if you want to see the comparison, again, the you can just search the channel and you'll find it if I don't link it for you in the eye. It shuffles really great and it slips really great too. So yeah, I just really love this one. It was hard to choose. I would love to know which version you prefer, the original or the Luna. Okay, my number two is the Cozy Witch Tarot Deck by Amanda Loveless and artwork by Janina Medeiros. Hopefully I'm saying those names correctly. I do apologize if I'm not. This is published by Andrews McMeal Publishing, retailing for $24.99 in the US and $33.99 in Canada. Take a chance for each morning is a new beginning. The creators behind the Believe in Your Own Magic Oracle deck, best-selling author Amanda Loveless and illustrator Janina Medeiros bring you Cozy Witch Tarot, a deck that goes perfectly with your comfiest sweater, a lit candle, and a steaming mug of tea. Inspired by the traditional Rider Waite Smith deck, a Cozy Witch Tarot is ideal for beginners and suitable for practitioners at every skill level, and I have to agree. The packaging is so fun, pretty nicely compact in here and I have to say this is one of the coziest decks <laughs> it's so sweet and gentle um they do a great job with the inclusivity in here although it is more of a divine feminine type deck but it's so inclusive and it's very 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 well done so we do have a lot of spreads in here and then for the guidebook too uh, it does have a few switches in the titles and some of the cards, but it will give you the association for the Rider Waite Smith, as well as a uh, blurb slash affirmation. We have a paragraph about it and then a reverse meaning. So again, if you're a beginner, fantastic for you. There's the back of the deck. So very fun, all the tools there, all the suits. But it gives you um, a little affirmation or a little information sentence at the bottom to help you if you were a beginner or just to give you a little bit more inspiration or encouragement when you're reading the cards. But it's so soft, so cozy, so gentle, so sweet. And it's done in a really beautiful and loving way. This little baby has wings. It's just so sweet. And I love seeing all the different sizes, all the different colors of people in here. It's just fantastic. And the miners are well depicted as well. So can't say enough good things about it. It is definitely a deck that you got your cup of tea next to you and your cozy blanket and the rain's pouring outside. This is the deck that you want to have next to you. Cardstock is a little bit stiffer. There we go. And it shuffles great this way too. Queen of Cups wanted to come out and say hello. <laughs> and on the bottom here, it says, honoring your emotions is one of the highest forms of self-care. Just so sweet, so beautiful. I love it. And it works so well with her Oracle too. All right, honorable mention, we have the Yuletide Tarot by Christopher Hughes and art by Aaron O'Leary Brown, published by Llewellyn, retelling for $32.99 in the US. If you are somebody who loves to work with decks seasonally, this is a perfect deck for the Yule slash winter season. Uh, keep this childlike wonder of midwinter burning brightly with the help of this festive deck, featuring reimagined suits of candles, which are wands, good cheer, which are cups canes, swords, and gifts, pentacles. The Yuletide Tarot honors the spiritual time of the year 
while remaining true to Rider Waite Smith's style. Best selling author Christopher Hughes's guidebook presents detailed descriptions of each card's keywords, meanings, and holiday lore, as well as five unique midwinter spreads that will deepen your connection to this magical season. 78 cards in a 312 page guidebook. So we have the classic Llewellyn magnetic packaging here. On the shortest day and the longest night, my gift to you is the warmth of light. We've got the ribbon. This, this is a huge book. And ribbon with the guide, uh, with the holly there. There is the high gloss cards. Cardstock is definitely that Llewellyn cardstock. I absolutely love this cardstock and this card size because it shuffles so well for me. And I wanted to show you the guidebook. It is thick. So for instance, we have the full page printout of the card on the left. We have the title and keywords as well as a blurb about the um, artwork and then the divinatory meaning and reverse meaning. So it goes into depth here. So perfect for beginners, any, any skill level. And then we do have the spreads here. So this is where it starts. The Yule Tree spread. 12 Days of Yule spread. Darkest Night. Three Ghost spread. And then the list. So love that there are spreads in here. It was great to use this deck during Yule. I'm going to bring you down here. Very down to earth very relatable, as well as the Major Arcana is very much more of the traditional side of the holiday, the mythos of the holiday, whereas the Minor is like your everyday what's going on in the season with family and friends. This is the Tower, the Fool here. How sweet is that? Two of Cups. So it's just really well done. Very fun to read with. And if you're somebody who loves Christmas all year round, this is a deck for you. <laughs> I have a few friends that are like that. They keep their lights and their decoration up for as long as possible. They're like me, but opposite with Halloween. <laughs> And yeah, I love how it shuffles. It's great. Very easy to do so. So this is my honorable mention. Um, and it's honorable mention because it's not something that I used year round and it's a seasonal deck. But it's so worth checking out if you are a Yule person or a Christmas person or someone who loves to use seasonal decks uh, because it's so well done. All right, and number one, we have the Unfolding Path Tarot by Athene Noctua, 78 card deck and guidebook by Hay House, retailing for $24.99 in the US and $33.99 in Canada. 78 card tarot deck featuring beautifully reimagined archetypes and modern diverse characters will guide you as you explore the infinite paths your life can take. With unique interpretations of traditional Rider Waite Smith imagery, the Unfolding Path Tarot introduces a dazzling community of animals, plants, and people. This deck's vibrant artwork, insightful guidebook, and extra sprinkle of magic create the perfect compass for self discovery. This deck I instantly fell in love with. The artwork is beautiful. It is so gorgeous. That's the star card, by the way. I see friends in here, family in here, my community in here. It's just stunning. The guidebook is great. It gives you well, a wealth of information. It gives you uh, the keywords here as well as it goes in depth into the card's energy. And it does that for the miners as well. I thought there was spreads. I could be wrong. There we go. So we have single card, two card, three card, path to love where the path will lead today, my soul's true path. Yeah, it's a really great guidebook. Look at the stunning back. This is a mat and the cardstock is Hay House cardstock. Shuffles really well, it's sturdy. 
but what I love about it is not only is the art style beautiful, but I see people I know in here. Um, I definitely use this for clients' readings. I use it for a plethora of different types of readings. It's just beautiful. And I apologize if you hear neighbors doing yard work uh, that just popped up, so I do apologize. Uh, but you have different age groups here. Like, this is just so beautiful. I love seeing all the different representation in here. And it does give you an accurate depiction of the energy behind the card. And I mean, look at this hermit. Ah. So, again, if you're a, a little bit of a beginner, it might be a smidge difficult. But with the guidebook, it's great. Definitely a deck to have in your collection, especially if you are someone who reads for clients, because this is just super inclusive. Uh, I, again, fell in love with it the minute I started the unboxing. It's just so stunning. I love the style of this, like, watercolor. It's just beautiful. For a modern deck, this meets all the criteria for me. All right, so I'll show you how it shuffles. And now we have a car alarm going off. Oh my gosh, what is going on? It's just so nice to work with. I get a lot of great intuitive hits off of it as well. Because I feel like I can connect to it really, really well. So I would love to know if this is a deck that you owned, if you love it, if this is in your top like it is for me. I would love to know all of your thoughts about all of these decks actually down in the comment section. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I love you and I like you. Let me know which decks were on your list that were not on mine because I would love to check those out if I haven't done so already. And again, thank you all for being patient with me as my voice is returning. I know I sound weird. I know it's been rough, but I appreciate you. Please stay safe out there. There's a lot going on. Um, just know that I love you and I like you. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell on your way out of this video. That way you will never miss an upload from me. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.